Hi there, you're watching Dave Sellers and Hughes. Uh, after my first review, I uh, got quite a few positive comments, so I'm going to do another one. So this is another video review for the Coolead Bluetooth headset, which I recently purchased to try and move myself away from using cables on things. So cables hanging off my head while I'm trying to do stuff on the computer can be quite annoying, getting with the keyboard, all that kind of stuff. So I decided I want to try and move away to a wireless kind of desktop. Um, so this is one of the moves towards that, uh, so I thought I'd review it while I was at it. It didn't take long. I hope you enjoy. If you do, then pop a like in the... Well, it's not a like, is it? It's thumbs up, in it, on YouTube? Pop a thumbs up or a thumbs down on YouTube, whatever you think. Uh, pop some comments on there, and if there's anything else you'd like me to review, then by all means, let me know. Thanks for watching. Hi. Right. This is the Coolead Foldable HD Headphones Wireless Bluetooth Stereo Music Headset. Um, bought from Amazon. This is my review. Um, just to tell you guys sort of one thing why I've bought it and another reason why I've picked this particular thing to buy. Um, it's a headset that can be used for phones or for um, computers and the truth is I was looking for something a little more friendly on my head because I have um, been struggling with the headphones I use. If I just give you a quick bit of background, streaming and recording things. Come on, focus. There we go. Um, I've been using this headset, which is TechNet Gaming Headset HS800. As you can see, it says on the on the thing there. Um, it's a little heavy, um, a little bulky. It's corded, um, and I've ended up with a combination of this cord and the cord from the uh, gaming. Um, head sensor, the head tracker that I use, have caused me a few problems with trying to get around and move around when I'm recording and that kind of stuff. So I decided I wanted to get rid of this kind of thing, the heavy, bulky, USB based um, thing, because the USB plug and the USB connection seem to be causing a lot of interference and a lot of problems. Um, but I'm not going to go into that. It's a good headset generally, as a gaming headset it's very good, the sound quality is awesome on it, the recording quality is not great, but this is not what I'm reviewing. What I'm reviewing is this. Um, so the reason I went for this is because I've had experience of this sort of headset before because I actually have another one. This is my, um, I've had this for a few years, it's been used at home and at work for listening to music um, and it's been very good so I decided I wanted to go for something similar again to give me the freedom of movement. So uh, basically what it means if I just uh, open this up. As you can see, very, very similar. So I'll move that out of the way. This headset was um, the, ex it's the exact same headset with a slightly different branding. It wasn't bought as the same product. Um, wasn't bought as the same product. Uh, but it is exactly the same product. It's, it comes up on your computer as a BSH10 headset. So essentially, what it is. Is a behind the head headset which I'll show you in a sec um, and comes with its own little charging cable. Just grab that for you as well to make sure you know exactly what comes in the box. You have a little charging cable like that uh, that plugs into your computer and you can plug it into a little little plug on the main part of the headset there. I'll bring that a little closer to the camera for you to see. Okay. Apologies for the focus on this thing close up it's not great. Um, yeah, so that's the that's the gaming headset. Uh, not the gaming headset, the Bluetooth headset. Uh, as I say, it has a built-in microphone. The built-in microphone is not great. Um, it's very echoey and it's very quiet because it's located. Let me find a little dot. Have to excuse me, oops. It's essentially a little dot, a little hole. There it is. I don't know if you'll be able to make that out on the camera. Actually, you can, surprisingly. So you've got a little hole there. That's the microphone. So when that's on your head, as you'll see when I try it on in a little while, um, it's kind of not very close to your mouth and there's no direct connection to it, so it's a bit far away. So it tends to be a little bit quiet, a little bit echoey. 
Um, but as an actual headset, it does work very, very well. I'm also not going to be able to give you the demonstration of how well it sounds, unless I put the headphones up to the actual microphone. Uh, but it sounds very clear, there's a rich bass to it. Um, it's quite impressive as far as the range of sound it can do, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I've listened to heavy rock on it, I've listened to classical music on it, and they all sound very, very good. Um, so, yeah, how would I review this? It's very, very good headset to use. I'd give it four out of five, and I'd drop a star because it does tend to, with, with being a Bluetooth device, it does tend to be a little bit particular in uh, where you put it. So, I don't know if it's common with all Bluetooth, devi Bluetooth devices, but I know it has happened with both of these headsets. Um, where if you connect it to a computer's Bluetooth connection, it can be a bit dodgy. Now, it could be the connection, because what I've actually done since that happened with this headset is I've moved my Bluetooth connector from uh, the plug on the main base unit to a remote connection, to a, a longer cable on a hub, uh, which is nearer the desk rather than being nearer the computer, which works actually much, much better. Um, as I say, it's... I like it, it's a very good headset, it gives you the freedom to move around, and uh, yeah, I quite like it. Okay, so what does the headset look like when it's actually on? So this is the headset, as you can see, it's an over the head, over the head band. Um, so what you do is you put it around the back of your head, like so, and then loop it over your ear. And then it sits on your ears like that. So it's quite comfortable. After a long time, I know from practice that this can be a little painful across the top of the ear. If I just turn to the way you can see, it does push quite firmly on top of your ear just like that. But um, that doesn't take place for quite a while. And everyone says you shouldn't have these things on for a long time anyway. So, um, yeah. so essentially to switch it on, you have a, a call button. Oddly there, that's the power button. And you press that until it beeps. Which is that amount of time. A blue light will start to flash, you'll get a beep in your headset as it tries to pair with whatever device it is you're actually paired with. Uh, in this case it's my computer. Um, and then you can start hearing what's coming through the computer. To switch it off, you hold the button in until it beeps twice. You get a beep, and then it switches off. Um, in order to pair it with your computer, make sure you've got everything turned on and hold the button in until it beeps and then keep it held in until it does another beep. At that point, it'll start to flash blue and red. I hope you can see that. And that's it ready to pair. Uh, just pair it with whatever device you've got on. Go into your computer or go into your phone and say pair with this device. It'll then beep twice at you to say that it's paired and you're ready to go. Um, very, very simple to use. Uh, very, very easy to set up. Very, very easy to do everything with. And as I say, it's a very good quality headset. Uh, the sound that comes off it is good. I'll just switch it off because it's beeping in my ear again. Um, and as I say, comfortable to wear and gives you the degree of movement that you need. So, this is the Coolied Foldable HD mobile phone and computer headset, which I intend to use for gaming. Um, if there's any more news to give you on that score, I'll let you know. But uh, for now, uh, that's that review.